Hi kids and let us learn all about plants in a new chapter called as plant life. Under this first let us talk about how plants will reproduce. Now plants reproduce in many many different ways. Flowering plants will produce seeds while mushrooms and molds will produce structures called as spores and some plants even reproduce with the help of their body parts. So let us see how reproduction in plants takes place in various ways. So when you see reproduction in plants, plants reproduce either from their stem, from their leaves, from the roots or from seeds. Now let us look at them one by one and study. The first one we will be seeing is reproduction from stem. Let's see. Now when you see the example of potato and ginger, these are underground stem. Okay, so you must have noticed that there are very small shoots that emerge from a potato or a ginger, right? If you haven't, then go to the kitchen and see it next time your mummy brings potatoes or ginger. You will observe that potatoes have several small buds on them which are called as eyes. So these small buds on the potato are called as buds or eyes. And each bud can develop into a new plant. So you pluck out one bud and you put it into soil, it can develop into a new plant. Now some farmers and gardeners, apart from using buds, they will take cuttings of stem and plant that. Now what kind of stem do they take? They take a piece of a stem that has two buds in them. So if you see this, this is one bud and this is another bud. So they take a stem which has two buds and they plant it and this will start growing into a new plant. This method is called as stem cutting. Examples of plants that can be grown like this is rose, hibiscus, bougainvillea, sugarcane and crotons. Now another very interesting way in which plants reproduce from stem is the example of strawberries. If you see strawberries, they have long stem that run along the ground. If you see, this is actually a stem. Okay, so this is another stem. This is another stem. So they have long stem that runs along the ground and each of these stem gives rise to a small plant. So these stem that give rise to the plant are what is called as runners. Okay, so this is another method of reproduction by stem. So what are the methods either through buds or eyes? This is the first one. The second one is through stem cutting and the third one is by using runners. Okay, let's move on to the next method of reproduction from leaves. Now when you take leaves for example, we will take the example of the plant called as bryophyllum. Now bryophyllum plant has very thick leaf, you can see here right, this is a very thick leaf and on the edges of the leaves it has very tiny plantlets or very tiny new plants that grow from them. These are called as buds, okay. These small plants that you see on the edges of the leaf are nothing but buds. Now when this leaf dries and falls onto soil, they will all start growing into a new plant. You can see here there are small plants that are coming, right? These are coming from dried leaves that fall on soil. So this is a method of reproduction from leaves where the example is bryophyllum. The next one that we will see is reproduction from roots. For reproduction from roots, we will take the example of sweet potato. Now let us try supporting the sweet potato in a jam bottle with the help of toothpicks. Okay, so we simply poke toothpicks and keep it in such a way that the bottom of the potato will dip into water. So we fill this jam bottle with water, we support the sweet potato with toothpick and we keep it on this. After some days, we will end up with this. You can see the roots will start forming and the plant will grow bigger. So this is the method of reproduction with the help of roots. Where this is nothing but a root, when you keep it in water, it further develops and gives rise to the entire plant. Now let us see the next one which is reproduction from seeds. Okay, so we have reproduction from seeds. 
now we know that most plants will reproduce with the help of seeds so where are these seeds found where can you find seeds these seeds are found inside the fruits and they will come in different shapes and different sizes okay if you take so many examples of seeds around us we can see seeds of peaches we can see seeds of papaya we have seeds of custard apple so you can see these are all inside the fruit right on the other side we also have hard seeds such as these now when these seeds are sown into soil they will start growing into a new plant so this is how reproduction from seeds is achieved now that we have seen seeds let us also go into what is the structure of a seed let us see the structure of a seed now if you look at a seed of bean or gram they are quite hard right and they cannot be broken but the same thing you soak it in water overnight and you come back and look at it the next morning they are very soft and moist and they swell up right they become bigger this is because seeds will absorb all the water if you have to take a look at the structure of seed you can see right here the outermost covering is called as the seed coat so you can see here this is the seed coat the brown color covering around it is called as the seed coat now this seed coat is a protective layer and it protects the seed from any damage when you go deeper on one side of the seed there is a structure called as a scar okay so if you see in this here there might be a scar you look at any seed it will have a scar okay now this scar is actually the point at which the seed was attached to the fruit okay so the scar is the point at which the seed was attached to the fruit now just above the scar there will be a small hole that is present okay there will be a small hole just above the scar this hole will allow for the entry of water into seeds i told you right when you soak the seeds overnight they will pull in all the water and they will swell up that is because all the water enters through this hole that is present now if you try to look inside the seed will have two small seed leaves called as cotyledons okay so if you look at the structure when you try to open it like if you take your peanut seed for example when you cut it open it looks like this these are two seed leaves which are called as cotyledons okay so inside this cotyledon you will find this tiny baby plant which is called as the embryo so you will find a tiny baby plant called as the embryo in between these two cotyledons now when you see the embryo the embryo will have the baby roots and the baby shoots and this particular seed will be protected and it is being provided with nutrition from these cotyledons so this baby plant is being protected and food is provided to the baby plant from the cotyledons so you can see how the seed is not just protecting but also providing food for the baby plant now let us see what is germination or how seeds will germinate to give rise to a plant now we saw that baby plant is present inside how will this baby plant grow we will see now now when you talk about germination when seeds get enough water air and warmth they will grow into a new plant even if one of this is missing they will not germinate okay so seeds use food that is stored in the cotyledons to grow the growth of the baby plant from a seed is called as germination so you should remember very clearly that when we refer to germination that is nothing but baby plant which starts growing from a seed okay in future whenever somebody uses the word germination you should remember what it is now this baby plant once it starts growing it is called as the seedling so with this we complete the first part of the chapter plant life let us see what all we have studied so we first saw different methods of reproduction under that the first one that we saw was reproduction through stem where we took the example of potato which was through buds we saw stem cutting examples of rose and hibiscus are a few of them then we saw runners of strawberry plant right these were all methods of reproduction from stem then we spoke about reproduction from leaves where we saw bryophyllum plant as an example 
then we spoke about reproduction from roots what is this plant this is nothing but sweet potato we saw how sweet potato grows from its roots then we spoke about how reproduction from seeds is achieved right if you remember we spoke about fleshy fruits like peach and papaya where we saw that the seeds grow up into the plants and finally when we spoke about seeds we saw the structure of seed this was the structure of seed where we spoke about the different parts of it and lastly we saw how baby plants are got from germination so we saw how exactly germination occurs so with this we complete part 1 if you have any doubts please get back to us so like share and subscribe to the channel thank you